Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here again. Happy New Year. And with it being the new year, it is time for me to take down all of my Christmas decorations. Time to clean up, get everything organized and fresh for the remainder of the month. Um, so you guys are going to join me today for that process. The rest of this video will most likely be a voiceover, but I hope that it gives you a lot of cleaning motivation as I go through pretty much all the main living spaces of my home and get everything organized. That is the goal for everything to get as organized as possible. So if you enjoy videos like this, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please, if you like this video, then just go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more content. And you guys go ahead and chat along with me in the comments. So with that being said, let's get to cleaning. Hey guys, it's Kayla here again, and I just wanted to start off the video by showing you all what I am working with in my home. My kitchen was a total mess, dishes in the sink, things all over the countertops, just things everywhere. And in my office space, the tree needed to go bye-bye, and also that couch right there, it's actually two couches in this room that I got from Ikea, so we're gonna deal with those a little bit later. Um, for some reason, this bench has become like my holding place where I put my coats and all those different things. So I got to put all those things away as well. And here in my living room, another disaster. <laughs> Just things everywhere. Also, I'm going to be doing like a Valentine's Day Decorate With Me video coming pretty soon. So I have been shopping quite a bit for a couple of items and to add to what I already have. And then all of these items are things that I got from Marshalls and Home Goods um, on the Christmas 50% off sale. So that's what we're working with, people. And we are going to get started in the kitchen because I feel like when I clean, at least, the kitchen is always where I start. And so I want you guys to let me know down in the comments when you begin cleaning, where do you start? Do you start in the bathroom, your bedroom, the living room? Let me know in the comments. So at this time, I am beginning to round up all my Christmas stuff in the kitchen and put it on this counter right here so I can see, you know, what I have to pack and put away. And when I tell y'all, I was so sad doing this. It's just something about those Christmas decorations that gave my kitchen and just my home in general so much more life and coziness. Um, but I realized that as much as I don't want to get rid of the decorations, that it is beyond time. And so I was curious to know, like, when do you guys take down your Christmas tree or Christmas decorations? Um, at this time right now, it's about like, it's early January. So do you wait until the end of February? Do you take it down the day after Christmas? When do you usually do it? I'm curious to know. I asked some people on my Instagram and a lot of them had already taken it down by now. So <laughs> y'all let me know in the comments. You bring out the sweetness of my life.
say you're leaving town Everything is upside down Oh baby, I love you, yeah Why you gonna leave when I need you the most? Wherever you go, I'll be there, you know Don't be a stranger, don't be a ghost Cause baby, I love you, yeah Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight I'm gonna miss your body You know I can never get it right Without you, no So again, Happy New Year to everybody out there watching this right now, 2021. We made it, y'all. We made it. With it being a new year, I decided to go ahead, as I do every year, and just set a couple goals for myself, um, things that I want to accomplish this year, and things like that. And one of those goals is to become more organized. I definitely need some help in that department so i'm super duper excited to be getting my new kitchen soon my goal is for it to be done by the end of february we'll see if that happens or not but once my new kitchen is here and everything's kind of updated and fresh i cannot wait to do like some organization videos and all that good stuff but speaking of goals, what are some of y'all's goals for 2021? What are some things you guys want to do and accomplish this year? Let me know down in the comments so we can chat about it. If you find cleaning videos to be satisfying and motivating, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out so, so much. So at this point, I was getting a little hungry, so I decided to go ahead and cook one of my delicious meals from HelloFresh, and I want to give a big shout out to them because they are sponsoring today's video. If you haven't heard of HelloFresh, they are America's number one meal kit, and they offer so many delicious recipes for you to choose from each week. Today, I'm going to be making the sweet chili pork bowls with bell pepper and candied peanuts. This meal is actually in their Hall of Fame, and I can see why, because over on my Instagram, I asked you guys to vote for which meal you wanted me to make in today's video, and this meal had the highest number of votes. I simply love that HelloFresh brings all the ingredients straight to my doorsteps, and it saves me so much time. HelloFresh also cuts out the stressful meal planning and prepping so we can easily enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes. I also thought it was really cool that the packaging HelloFresh uses to ship your food is almost entirely made of recyclable materials. But my absolute most favorite thing about HelloFresh is that you can customize pretty much every part of it. For example, you can change your delivery days, you can change your food preferences, and you can even skip a week whenever you need to. So it's definitely super duper flexible for whatever your cooking needs are. HelloFresh is committed to making fresh, delicious food available now more than ever and they have taken extra steps to keep their employees and customers safe. I, 
I've always found cooking to be a lot of fun, but when I tell you, it was 1000% easier and so much more fun to cook this meal because I didn't have to do the grocery shopping and I didn't have to find the recipes. Literally, it was just so easy. All right, you guys, so I just finished cooking my HelloFresh meal and it looks absolutely delicious. All right, my first bite, here we go. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code YOUNGLADY10 to get 10 free meals, including free mm -hmm. shipping. Mm -hmm. This is really good. Do you guys see these curtains though? I am so happy. I finally got some. Um, these are actually from Ikea and I bought them in my last video if you want to check it out. I'm super duper happy to finally have some because I feel like they have totally elevated the space. So you guys let me know what you think about them in the comments. Get next to me, get next to me. Get next to me, get next to me. Right now, I'm beginning to pack up all of the new Christmas decorations that I bought. All of these came from Marshall, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. Um, after clean after Christmas, you guys know that things went on sale for about 50%. So I found a couple things, not a lot of things, but a couple things. Um, and unfortunately, I didn't find a Christmas tree. I went to Target. I went to so many stores to find like a Christmas tree, Walmart on the clearance 50% off or even 60, 70% off, but I could not find one. So it looks like I'll be getting one next year probably, or this year actually, this year. Um, but the things I did find were really good finds. Um, I was mostly excited about the beauty finds that I found for Marshalls. I got tweezers, beauty blenders, foot masks, which I'll show you guys in just a second, all for 50% off. Did you guys buy any Christmas stuff after Christmas on clearance? Let me know if you did down in the comments. And if you found some really great stuff for a really good deal, let me know what you bought. If you watch my Christmas decorate with me video, then you know that these three trees were originally on the front porch, but it was super duper windy um, a couple days during December and they kept falling over. So I got frustrated and I ended up just moving them inside to this little corner in the dining room. Next year, if I decide to use these outside, then I'll probably put something down there in the pot just to make them a little bit more stronger and sturdier.
these are magical creatures. We can see what doesn't exist and choose to rise above what is. Unlike any other, humans can feel without having to have actually felt. We can share each other's pain or joy. One might use such a power to destroy rather than to build up or support. Lately I've been feeling something gonna change and I'm tempted to get heaven. Don't let it go that low. Keeping it, keeping it in control. I'm not broken, I'm still going, going up, 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 I'm strong, I'm not broken, I'm still going, oh, didn't you know, I'll be my own redemption, yeah, I'm manipulation, ooh, I ain't gonna buy it again, so over all the fake. So right now I'm beginning to clean up the entryway, but then I got the bright idea. Hmm, what would the bench look like near or with my dining room table? So I was like, let me just try it out and see what it looks like. And I ended up loving it there more than I did in the entryway. So yeah, you guys let me know what you think about this new change down in the comments. I'm not broken, I'm so good. Once I moved the bench to the dining room, I was like, I might as well move this couch to the living room too. I had no intentions of doing that, but I just kind of got like a bug. I was like, you know what, I'm going to get this done. So that's exactly what I did. And I could not be happier with the results. I absolutely love this couch. It is so cute. I was really skeptical about buying it because um, I've never bought any like big furniture from Ikea before. But um, prior to buying this, I actually did look at some reviews online and see, you know, what people were saying about the, how the comfort and how it wears over time. And so I didn't see anything that was super bad. So I was like, you know what, for $266, I might as well take a chance and see if this couch is going to be, you know, the one for me. So I, as of right now, I am loving it. Although I don't have the, um, like the fabric on it right now, just with the cushions, it's super duper soft and comfortable. I actually ordered cushion, not cushions, I actually ordered the cover um, from a lady online who makes custom Ikea slip covers for all their furniture. And I ordered it in an off-white color. So that'll be here in about two to three weeks. And I'm super duper duper excited to put that on the couch because I know it is going to elevate it even more. And then once those come in, I definitely want to get my living room put together. I want to paint the brick. I want to finish painting the walls. Um, put up my entertainment center. Put down the real rug that's going to go in there so that it can start to feel more like what's in my head so yeah a lot of good things are coming but like all good things they take time y'all here i am 
taking the lights off the street. <laughs> but then I realized, why are these lights so hard to come off? Y'all, this light, this street's pre-lit. So I just messed it up a bit. Ah! But anyways, it saves me time. Alright you guys, so really quick, I do want to share some of the packages and letters and different little notes that I got for my P.O. Box. I was sitting here just organizing all my mail, tearing it up, shredding things, and I was like, oh, I came across a letter from one of my subbies, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And my P.O. Box, if you guys do want to send me anything, it is down in the description box. The person this is coming from is Co. In Austin, Texas. Okay. Hey Kayla, I just found your channel not too long enough, not too long ago, and I cannot stop watching. I did YouTube for a while, but my heart was not in it. I can tell you're enjoying it. You made me so happy just watching you. I have included some stickers from my Etsy shop for you. Please share if you'd like, but you do not need to. Not sending for a plug, lol. <laughs> Congrats on the house and can't wait to see what you do next. Respectfully, Lizzie J. Aw, thanks, Lizzie. This is so sweet. OMG. Okay, let's see these stickers. This is so cute. I just love getting stuff in the mail from you guys. This is actually my first time opening anything ever since I got my P.O. box, so. I mean, look at the packaging. Lizzie, you are doing your thing, girl. And the stickers. Oh, these are so cute. Let me get up. It's one of them. Hey, take attendance. Girl, you know I needed this. I always forget to take attendance. Pay teachers what they're worth. I mean, yes, ma'am. Drink more water. Girl, definitely need to do that. Oh my gosh, these are so adorable. No bad days. Ask me about my small business. Mountains. Oh, thank you, Lizzie. And you guys, please be sure to support her. I know she said she didn't really want a shout out, but um, here is her social media tags, Lizzie Ann. You can follow her on Facebook and on Instagram. And she also said she had an Etsy shop where she sells her stickers and stuff. So you guys, please be sure to support her. This is so sweet. All right, next up, I have a letter, or it looks like a card, from Miss Wilson, or M. Wilson in Richmond, Virginia. Let's go ahead and open this one up. New beginnings should be celebrated. gift card Wilson Margo Wilson you you are looking out thank you Kayla wishing you joy good health and prosperity in your new home thank you for sharing your journey with us I truly enjoy your spirit thanks for getting the P.O. box more gifts to come enjoy your home Margo Wilson thank you Margo this is so sweet okay and then I also got a package Gift receipt, send a thank you now. You can learn more about your gift and start a return here too. Scan using, okay. Oh, this is so nice. An aroma diffuser. I've always wanted one of these, honestly. This is so sweet. Thank you so much. And it has some different oils, I hope. I can find out who sent this to me. Okay, here's the note, here's the note. Enjoy your gift for your new home. I'm excited to watch you design and decorate it from Miss Fine Ones. Oh, thank you, Miss Fine Ones. This is so sweet. Wow, okay, let's see what scents we got up in here. I cannot wait to use this. I, like I said, I've always wanted one of these. 
I'm gonna put this right next to my bedside, my bedside table. Ooh, and these smell delicious. Wow. These are beautiful. So she sent chocolate, apple, coconut, cupcake, French vanilla, and peach. These, these are going to be some really nice scents. Wow. These oils smell so good. Like, I've only opened the box and it smells so delicious. Oh, this is gorgeous. You guys see the color on it? Like the wood? The, oh, this is beautiful. This is going to go perfect next to my bedside table. Wow. Thank you so much, Miss Fine One. That's all the stuff I need. A light timer. I'm going to have to read the instructions so I can figure out how to use this. But I'm so excited. Oh, thank you guys. Everybody who sent me something um, to my P.O. Box. I do really, really appreciate it. I'm looking for a brand new start. I know I got some trouble getting over you. I think that I have played my part. I need to get away somewhere far from you. I'm a buy, I'm a buy plane ticket. Run away by myself for a minute. I don't have, I don't have. So now that the bench was gone, I started to think about okay, what could I put here in this space? And I always loved the idea of like putting a little table in the entryway. So I decided to try that out. So I had this, um, little dresser sideboard table console table whatever you call it um i already had it from my last apartment so i was like well let me just see what it'll look like here so i put it here and i actually kind of like it i don't know 100 percent if it will stay but i definitely am feeling the vibe you guys let me know down in the comments what you think about this little white table being here and then I started to play around with like the idea of putting um, you know a mirror on top and all of that just trying to see how I would style it in the future so y'all let me know what you think down in the comments Next, I also started to play around with like a little rug option here in the entryway. This rug I actually bought originally for my sunroom, so I just opened it up for the first time to see what it would look like here in this space, but unfortunately it didn't quite work out. I definitely think this space needs a narrow, longer rug, so that was my original thought, but I just wanted to test it out because I've been playing around with all the different stuff I had all day today. Um, but anyway, I cannot wait to do like a formal video on my whole entryway makeover. It's taking me some time to like get everything done. And that's basically what I'm telling you guys right now in a nutshell. But I do like the color story that all these pieces are telling. And I like how it'll flow right, the colors will flow right into my living room. So you guys let me know what you think of that down below. And I do want to thank everybody for watching today's video. Um, please be sure to comment. Please be sure to like the video. And also, if you have not already, please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys on Sunday. Bye!